Hello, this is an overview of the Swiss Gear Ibex backpack available at Best Buy for $100. Now, I originally bought it for $70 because I got it price match for Costco's price. Costco sells it for $70 and they would and did a price adjustment for me. Uh, the exterior dimensions on it are 15 inches in length, 10 inches in width, and 19 inches in height. It's a very good size backpack for books, uh, having a laptop, having accessories, putting your gaming console in it, shoes, whatever you need to put, boots, if you need to put boots in it, it'll fit a lot of stuff in here. Um, the computer dimensions are, for the length, it's uh, 12 inches, for the width is 1.75 inches, and uh, the height of it is 16 inches. So I have a 15.4 inch MacBook Pro with a case, a hard shell on it, and a soft case over it, and it still fits in there perfectly with two uh, cases on top of the MacBook Pro. So it's a very good size compartment for your laptop. It says it fits up to 17 inches in a laptop so but I know it fits a 15 inch very 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 snug um, it has a lot of pockets on it as you can see let's see there's one pocket right here there's another one here there's another one right there and then it's got two side pockets on both sides but they're very small side pockets then on top over here it's got another pocket and in the very end, it's got a laptop pocket. Now let's get started talking about the back. As you can see, it's very padded. It's very thick, so it's going to be very comfortable when it's leaned against your back. The straps are very, very uh, padded. That's one of my biggest things when it comes to buying a backpack. I have to have a good shoulder strap. I hate the really thin, flimsy uh, straps because it, after a while it starts hurting your shoulder or gets uncomfortable. So these are really thick and they're reinforced really well. Um, it says right here that it's shock, uh, shock absorbing. So I guess if you go running, it's going to help you uh, absorb shock a lot better so it doesn't jump around so much. So that would be good if you have a computer in here, which sometimes I kind of have to run with my laptop in here to catch a bus. <laughs> so it has a front, uh, a front mesh pocket for your cell phone. It's, uh, it's not really that big. I actually, I'm not even sure if it's for a cell phone. I tried fitting my Thunderbolt in here which is what I'm currently filming this with right now. And it didn't really fit, but I do have a case on my Thunderbolt, so I don't know if that was the reason why. So I would say it'd be for a small cell phone, if anything. If not, you could put pins in there or whatever is to the size of the shoulder strap. Um, for the actual handles on it, on top, it has like a metal thread or yeah, it looks like a metal threaded rod. Now I don't know how that works down here, but it is pretty comfortable when you pick it up. And the way it's sewn here, it seems like it's really, really strong. So you could have a lot of stuff and it doesn't look like it'll tear. The, uh, the zipper handles, or like a some type of metal and then they have the Swiss logo on them so they're really comfortable and they they feel really nice when you go and unzip it now if you look in the first compartment let me focus camera if you look in the first compartment you got a lot of uh, pockets for like cards I believe this would be for like a Swiss Army knife um, you got some mesh nets in here to put whatever you want Another uh, pocket sleeve in here. I got pins in there if you could look. 
and I can still I still have a lot of room to put stuff in here. So the first compartment it seems like it's a lot of accessory based stuff for accessories that you might want to put. The second pocket it's pretty big too. If you look over here, I got the zippers, the metal zippers. Uh, it's pretty big. You could probably fit uh, a lot in this pocket. It's got another zipper mesh pocket right here. It will definitely fit, here I'll show you, this is my iPad. It will definitely fit my iPad in that pocket. So just to give you an idea how big that pocket is. Now the third pocket behind that, this is the main pocket for bigger items. As you can see, it might be hard to see because it might be dark. I got the flashlight on right there. It's a very really big pocket. Let me give you a little demonstration. I got my electrical books. Hold on. I got two textbooks that are very big in size. Okay. As you can see, it fits those two textbooks, and I still got some room to put another third book. Now, these are very thick books, so you could fit quite a few books inside there. And then it's got another pocket behind there for maybe like a small folder or actually it looks like you could fit your book. Hold on, give me a second. Let me put the camera down. Okay. If you look, you can see that I have the, the textbook fitting on the inside. So it's pretty big when it comes to fitting books in there. Now there's a smaller pocket on the top right here and Ray I have a hard drive in there so looks like you could fit you know smaller things it looks like it could be a compartment for pins and stuff or any other small accessories you might want to put it's a little pocket right there so it's another pocket that's on top. Now the main pocket for me is my laptop pocket. This is the one that's really important to me because I like to make sure my uh, laptop is protected. Let me take out my Netflix. I got Netflix movies in there. So as you can see, the there's a lot of padding around the laptop itself. It's got a Swiss strap to hold the backpack to make it more snug and secure. Then on this side, you got a pocket for pins or whatever else you want to put there for more small accessories. And then another pocket in there. So this thing is loaded with pockets, as you can tell. Let me show you taking out the laptop. Okay, as you can see, there's a lot of space in there for a laptop. So, let me zip it back up. As you can see, it's a really padded and pocketed backpack. <laughs> oh, also, uh, it has a little iPod dock right here. So if you have an iPod or iPhone or something, you got to open up this bigger one right here. If you could see it, hold on. If you could see, it has a, is it right there? Yeah, that's where it is. I guess, I don't know where you would actually put that at. It's kind of weird how this is set up right here. There's really no pocket to put a phone in. Well, I guess that, that right here leads to this pocket up here. So maybe you put your phone in here, and then you put your uh, headphones through there, and then it comes out 
through here from this pocket. It's kind of a little weird the way it's set up. Oh, well. So, oh yeah, you got uh, side mesh pockets too for water bottles. So if you want to put water bottles, it'd be a nice size. And on the bottom, if you look, it's kind of like a basketball style material, like a rubber. It's uh, it seems like really strong support. So if water, for some reason, spills on the bottom of the floor. It seems like it's a little protective from making sure your laptop won't get ruined. And it seems like it's waterproof. So that's the overview of the Swiss Gear Ibex backpack available at Best Buy or Costco or online also. They have it online at multiple online websites. So I do recommend this backpack. It's a really nice backpack. My, uh, like I said, my favorite part of it is the straps. That's like the most important thing for me. That and, you know, pocket support and all that for my laptop. But the straps are definitely were the deal breaker for me. That's what made me got, uh, get it. Now it says right here, like, supposedly, so it doesn't get hot on your back, that this is supposed to be for airflow. So maybe it won't, feel, make, won't make your back feel so hot when having this against it, so that's, that's a pretty cool feature that they added. They have little rings in actually the bottom of the strap. I don't know what these rings are for, so, but they do have those, maybe it's for your keys to hook them on or something. And it's got two uh, handles, one where the strap are and then one where the back pockets are. But the back pocket's the one that's stronger. So, there's, let me just unzip everything real quick, so you get a good, uh, get a good, good look on it. Okay, so just to go over it, there's a pocket right there, another pocket right there, medium sized pocket with a mesh pocket another pocket for textbooks and stuff and then a smaller pocket so I guess it's for your phone and then it's got this little hole right here so you can stick your headphones and then it's got a laptop pocket in the back so and it says right here Swiss Guard computer protection so there you go there's your overview Nice backpack. If you guys are interested, go out and get it. All right.